Hello everybody, welcome to part three of You Can Escape the Seals and the Great Tribulation, the hour of his judgment that is seven years. We're going to get into that in tomorrow's video. You want to come back for that one. Uh, so today I promise you that we're going to talk about how that we're breaking two of the commandments most of the time and don't even know it. But first, I'd like to read out of Luke 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting headaches and drunkenness, which is gluttony, and cares of this life, and so that that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare is a temptation, it shall come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye be accounted worthy to escape these things that are coming to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. And in Ephesians 6, which I'm sure all of you know, verse 13, Wherefore, Take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breast plate of righteousness. And you guys know the rest of that. And in Daniel 12, verse 13, the last verse, but he's talking to Daniel, but God's talking to Daniel, but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. That be the last day when he's resurrected those that are dead in Christ. Okay, and he returns with Yahshua. And in verse 1 of chapter 12, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book and we know that to be the book of life and lastly in matthew 24 verse 15 when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by daniel the prophet stand in the holy place whoso readeth let him understand and in verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. Now, I believe that we're uh, at least three and a half years away from the abomination of desolation, which is when Satan gets kicked out of heaven into the earth with his fallen angels for good. And that happens when the manifestation of the sons of God, the mature, perfect man, the woman, the remnant, the 144,000, okay? So we see that we need to stand in that evil day because that is the evil day. And, you know, we can also apply to that is that during these times is no weapon formed against us who obey the gospel shall prosper and i'm fixing to get into just what it is well i've already told you we have to stop uh, breaking his commandments and i'm going to show you the two that's not obvious to most now some uh, do understand and we realize that we're not keeping the commandments and, you know the bible says clearly if you love the father you will keep his commandments all of them now, the one that we're breaking, and I did it for, 
so many years, like most other Christians, oblivious. And that happens to be in the holidays that we call holidays. And that goes all the way back to uh, Constantine in about 313 uh, A.D. when he merged with the Roman Catholic Church. The pagan holidays. And we cut, mixed them with our, well, did away with the holy days, and now we call them holidays. We need to come out of it, and I'm going to get into it. Stay tuned. So what is, what command we're breaking? We're breaking the first one. Have no other gods before me. 